was made for champions, and today its storied slopes are open to all. The Olympic legacy is strong. From the moment you turn past the Olympic torch leading to Squaw Valley to the top of the iconic tram, it's clear. And legends are still made here on the north end of Lake Tahoe, California. The Icon Pass Resort's 3,600 acres of bowls, cliffs, steeps, and glades cover six challenging peaks of the Sierra Nevada mountains. Stellar snow, a diverse, rugged landscape, and jaw-dropping views of Lake Tahoe make it a must-visit destination. Jeff and Jennifer here with Snowboard Traveler. Welcome to Squaw Valley, sunny California. You can see Lake Tahoe in the back, and all around us are gorgeous runs, and we are here with some pretty sweet spring conditions. Soft, playful snow, lots of terrain to explore, lots of fun to be had at Squaw Valley. Squaw Valley is an hour drive from Reno Tahoe Airport, two hours from Sacramento, and over three hours from the Bay Area. The resort lies between two ski towns, Tahoe City by the Lake and Truckee to the north. Sister Resort Alpine Meadows is 15 minutes right away and will soon be connected by the California Express Gondola, creating the third largest ski resort in North America. Squaw Valley has six peaks with designated lifts to the top like Red Dog, KT-22, Headwall, Siberia, Emigrant, and Granite Chief. Novice riders are not stuck at the bottom and everyone can take the tram to high camp, Funatel to Gold Coast, or Squaw One Quad to access the same restaurants, views, and exceptional terrain. High Camp and Gold Coast get first sun with an easy transition to intermediate backside runs of Shirley Lake and Solitude, or more advanced Granite Chief and Silverado. Download the handy Squaw Alpine app to track everyone in your group around the mountain and time the lifts. There is a large free parking lot and paid covered parking by the village. The village is easy to navigate and there are several shops, restaurants, and hotels. Stop by the coffee bar for hot drinks or Wildflower Bakery for a fresh cookie. The rich Olympic history comes through around the village and further up the mountain. The best way to ride the resort is to start on the upper mountain and follow the sun. The tram runs every half hour and takes riders to the best spot for beginner terrain near high camp. The snow quality is better up there than by the village and with the gentle slopes it's an ideal learning environment. High Camp has the Terrace Restaurant and Bar with views of Lake Tahoe, and the Olympic Museum is worth a wander. The mountain has several green runs under the Mountain Meadow and Big Blue Lifts with easy progression to intermediate runs at Gold Coast Camp. To go directly from the village to Gold Coast, hop on the only Funatel in North America. The 28-passenger car is the recommended and fastest route. A Funatel is larger than a gondola and has two cables to help steady it in wind. And yes, it's fun. The Gold Coast Camp has the Arc Restaurant and seating area with the world's first ski-through Starbucks perched at 8,000 feet. Intermediate riders will love this area. Gold Coast Express has groomed cruisers or take the emigrant lift to the very top and soak in the lake views. There are four terrain parks in the High Camp and Gold Coast areas that are well-maintained and easy to access. There are several jumps, rails, and half pipe. Nothing like a good jump to get your heart rate going in the morning. After exploring the upper mountain on the front side, intermediate riders can easily transition to the back side as the sun moves. Shirley Lake Lift has several groomed blue cruisers and a medium bowl. Nearby Solitude has more playful intermediate runs with some trees. Between Gold Coast on the front and Shirley on the back, this is the best area for intermediate level riders. From Shirley, advanced riders can hop on Granite Chief and access the highest and most remote part of the resort. On powder days, locals climb to the summit and drop into the chutes to the open bowl and trees below. The backside also has the advanced Silverado area. Drop in! <laughs> if there is decent snow, it's worth exploring the rest of the frontside terrain. Siberia Express is right next to Gold Coast and offers fun intermediate riding in a steep open bowl. We found some of the best riding here given the snow conditions. The Squaw Valley Snow Crews take care of their advanced terrain and had groomed Siberia Bowl. Following Siberia all the way down to the village, essentially along the route of the men's downhill, is a challenging and fun leg burner. Woo! Back at the village, hop on the famed KT-22, voted best chairlift in North America. This is the area for adventurous riders with cliffs, chutes, gullies, and moguls, frequented by Olympians. KT stands for kick turn and it took one of the founding skiers 22 kick turns to navigate down the steep area. It's also home to the women's downhill and other iconic runs. The next lift over is Red Dog up to Snow King Peak. Beware that Red Dog whisks passengers high over a ravine, so pull the bar down for safety. All we have is this little bar. <laughs> I'm very grateful for this little bar. Don't look down, don't look down. 
I didn't know lifts could do this. I thought they had to be closer to the mountain to stay stable. If there's recent snow, Snow King is the place to find powder stashed in the trees and tucked into gullies. If the upper mountain lifts shut down from high winds during storms, Snow King is a great alternative area. There are intermediate runs straight down to the resort at Squaw Creek Hotel and restaurants, an alternative base at Squaw Valley. From Snow King, take the Champs-Élysées cat track back to the main village. At the end of the day, stop by the old tram car bar or village restaurants for opera specials. With so many chutes, bowls, gullies, and steep terrain to choose from, Squaw Valley is a skier and snowboarder paradise. The Squaw Valley and Alpine Meadows combo is our resort of choice in the Lake Tahoe area. We are already watching the weather forecast to revisit during prime snow conditions for the full experience. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for riding with us. We had an awesome day exploring Squaw Valley with you. And this is Jennifer and Jeff with Snowboard Traveler. See you at the next mountain.